Hey guys, welcome back to what's technically another Christmas video, but don't worry, there's no Christmas music in this one. This is a present for my mum, a stamp tool for making eyes for clay dolls. I made this set quickly a while back, but I wanted to make a nicer version for Christmas. The 3D printed part of this project isn't particularly interesting on its own, it's really only two parts. A set of eye pieces for different sized eyes, and a coupling piece that only serves a aesthetic purpose. The cooler part of this print was the wood turning I did on the 3D printed lathe. For the handle, I decided to use a piece of this timber. This is from a friend's property. It's a well-worn chunk of red gum from a field where allegedly a shearing shed once stood. If my research is correct, this piece of timber is at least 100 years old. I find it incredible that a piece of timber can be exposed to the elements for so long and still be fine on the inside. This piece of timber is also what I would consider an extreme case of what you could turn on the 3D printed lathe. It's a big chunk of hardwood. It's very lopsided, meaning that it will have a lot of momentum when it's turning. And I'm happy to report that the lathe handled it just fine. Now onto the turning. I didn't use all of the piece, which looks a bit wasteful, but the tailstock end did have a big crack in it, so I wasn't too worried. Again, I'm still using regular wood chisels. The set of wood chisels I've ordered still hasn't arrived, and I'm really excited to see how the lathe performs with proper chisels. With the shaping now done, I then used a few grits of sandpaper to smooth the surface. I then parted the part, and moved on to oiling the piece. I again used walnut oil, and I couldn't be happier with the resulting colour. When I've used walnut oil on olive and Tasmanian oak, the colour change was pretty minor, but on this red gum it resulted in this beautiful dark brown which I wasn't expecting. I'll definitely be using this combo again in the future because of how great it looks. Now to assemble the whole thing. I used the turning hole as a centre and drilled it large enough to take a length of 3mm threaded rod. Before I glue the 3D printed part on, I'm going to give it a quick sand, before gluing it and threading the rod onto the end of the handle. With that done, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple project, and the piece of wood turned was definitely the most interesting part of it. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you next time.